everybody, it's Lynn from Month Crafts, and today I am back with a tutorial on faux abalone shell. And you'll find lots of tutorials out there on faux abalone. This is just my take on it. I'm starting with three relatively equal portions of the Pearl Primo. This one has um, Primo Fuchsia, uh, just a tiny bit. This one is the Primo, I believe it's just purple. And this one is the Souffle, and I believe it's the Lagoon. Alright, so I'm going to mix these three together. Not together, I'm going to mix these three individually, and I'll be back. Alright, so here's what we've got. And the reason why you're adding such a small amount of color is because you want to maintain the pearl pretty strong. Now, you could add mica powders at this point and darken them up, pearl them up a little bit more, um, but that's completely up to you. Alright. I did go back and add just a tiny bit of um, Perfect Pearls to these and I've got a sheet of just some regular pearl clay. Now at this point you can either use a very thin sheet of black clay or I'm going to use some black acrylic paint. Oops, sorry about that. Um, I would be using the black clay, but I'm almost out. So <laughs> This is just an apple barrel black acrylic paint. Um, and I find the cheaper the better. I know a lot of people use expensive acrylic paints on their clay, and that's fine. Um, I just don't have that option. And mainly because I'm a rebel and I like to do it my way so there you go so I'm just gonna take some black paint and paint a coat on the top of each sheet and then let it dry all right all right these are dry and I wanted to explain one of the reasons why I use just such small pieces is because I don't really care for scrap clay I want to use what I've made and be done with it. Once you've got scrap clay, you're kind of limited in what you can do with it. And I don't like to be limited. <laughs> Alright, you can stack these up in any order that you want. I'm going to go with the blue, the purple, the pink, and the white. Alright, and I'm using a medium setting on my pasta machine, which is a 4. And this is kind of thick, so I'm going to roll it out a little bit first before I run it through the pasta machine. And I'm only going to run it through two or three times. Because if you do more than that, you'll get your layers too thin. And then you won't be able to see the pattern as well. Alright. Okay, I've run it through one time. Now I'm going to cut it down, stack it, and run it through again. Alright, and I'm going to do this a couple of times, although my layers are getting really thin already. Alright, so I really only ran it through two times. I'm going to stack this back up. Although this time I'm going to cut it and stack it several times. Alright, I'm going to do it one more time. So I've got a good thick block to work with. Okay. Alright, now I've got, I'm going to turn it over to the 
unpainted side which it doesn't matter which side you do it from and I'm gonna use some tools and poke down into it And then I'm going to do some other weird things to it. Alright. Sorry, that probably gets annoying. Okay. <laughs> now I'm going to try to form it black back into a block and if you have trouble with your I'm sorry with your hands you can use a, an assistant this is just a stamping block which you'll find in this department where they have stamps at the craft store rubber stamps. Alright. This is just about good. Alright, now if I had a ripple blade, I would I would use the ripple blade to do this, but I don't have one, believe it or not. I had thought that I had bought a um, Mm -hmm. an assortment of blades and I actually may have but I certainly can't find it so it is what it is all right I'm gonna take this off the paper oh. how about I stick it on a ceramic tile this is just a ceramic tile like you would use in your kitchen in your bathroom all right I've got it stuck down I'm just going to use my blade and I'm going to cut down at an angle. Alright, and you can see how pretty. How gorgeous it makes it. That is just absolutely beautiful. And when you bake it, it will be even prettier. Now, I'm intentionally not showing these baked because I will come back and do a project um, with them. Alright. So, there we go. A faux abalone tutorial. Very simple, very basic, and very easy. Alright, I shall holler at y'all later. Bye now.